What is up guys, welcome back to the channel guys We back here learning about Romania We got some history, shout out to Romania I've been checking out different videos I actually did a video about Bucharest On my main channel, Dar the Traveler But we here with some history on why did Romania switch sides in World War II Now this was recommended to me, so this is interesting I uh, always like learning about the World Wars You know, the biggest wars in history So, uh we finna see Romania switching sides. I mean, uh, living in that moment, I'm sure it it was. It's tough to make a decision. I'm sure it was in the heat of the moment type of thing. But we'll see. We'll see and learn. Moscow, Berlin. In August 1944, the Axis forces were on the defensive. In the West, a new front was created in June after D-Day. Germans were fighting in Central, in Northern Italy, and in East, mm. the Soviets were on a huge offensive on a gigantic front line. Germany was in a very bad situation. Ooh. But a new blow is about to happen on the date of 23rd Dang. of August, 1944. At that date, King Michael of Romania joined with conspirators and opposition politicians in an attempt to arrest the head of the government, Marshal John Antonescu. The coup was successful. Dang, they just arrested? The king removed the government and the weapons were turned against Germany. But why did this happen? Dang. For you to better understand the situation of Romania in the Second World War, firstly, we have to go 132 years back in time. Oh, dang. We are in 1812. In the aftermath of the Russo-Turkish War, which happened between 1806 and 1812, the eastern parts of the Principality of Moldova, known as Bessarabia, were ceded Bessarabia. to Imperial Russia. In 1859, Moldova united with Wallachia in what will become Romania after their mm. War of Independence. In 1917, in the wake of Russian Revolution, the area constituted itself to as the Moldavian Democratic Republic, an autonomous republic part of a proposed federative Russian state. Bolshevik agitation in late 1917 and early 1918 resulted in the intervention of the Romanian army. Dang, to pacify I the region. Soon after, the Parliamentary Assembly declared independence the and then with the union man. with the Kingdom of Romania. The Great War led to the achievement of the long standing goal. So, does now, that mean Moldova and Romania was all one? Then, do you know, end up Moldavia getting was the their independence? Of Greater Romania, a national state that would incorporate all ethnic Romanians, which were divided for centuries. However, these new territories also included significant Hungarian, German, Russian, and Ukrainian minorities. Thus, the relations with Hungary and with the new authoritarian regime of the East weren't so good. In the first years of the interwar period, the situation was very good. The economy grew substantially, and Romania found itself as a major actor of Southeast Europe. King Ferdinand, who unified the country Ferdinand. after the Great War, died in 1927. And after his death, an era of political instability is about to start. Carol, who will become Carol II, the was the eldest son of Ferdinand I, and became crown prince upon the death of his grand uncle, King Carol I, oh, in 1914. Dang. His life was marked by numerous scandals, among them marriages to Zizi Lambrino in 1918 and then oh, to Princess the Helen of everything. Greece and Denmark in 1921. Then he had continued affairs with Magda Lupescu. Oh, he wilding. him to renounce his succession rights in 1920. I have an interest in lifestyle. What can I say? I am out. My son might go next. Five I got wilding out country. here. King Ferdinand died in 1927, and Carol's five-year-old son ascended the throne as Michael I. Be so he didn't want it and just decided Michael to give it to his son? Minor, a regency council was instituted. Carol then returned to Romania in 1930 and replaced his son and the regency that had been in place. His reign wow. was marked by political turmoil, huge instability, and in final, evolved into a personal dictatorship beginning in 1938. I don't understand why, like, he would give it to his son, an uh, infant, but then take it back. Firstly, I don't know why he gave it to his son, his son young, anyway, but... Maybe he just, he could have feel like, you know, of course with what he was doing, you know, my guy seemed like a ladies man, you know, getting women, but it's like, I feel, he probably didn't feel ready, ready for it. Then something just clicked 
one day and he was like, you know what, it's time. Due to the political situation of Europe at the time, I am the combined state. with its internal struggles and its geographic position, Romania found itself in a very delicate posture. The war was on the horizon and the only guarantee of Romania's integrity was France and Great Britain. Mm. On the 21st of June, 1940, France signed an armistice with Germany and Great Britain focused on its defense. Romania was alone. Dang. In the summer of 1940, a series of territorial disputes were diplomatically resolved unfavorably to Romania, resulting in the loss of most of the territory Dang. gained in the wake of World War I. On June 26, 1940, at 2200, Soviet People's Commissar Molotov presented an ultimatum to evacuate Bessarabia and North Bukovina. The king communicated his wish to stand against the Soviet Union, but was under the pressure Dang. of Germany and Italy. Carol accepted. And then again, under these pressures, Romania lost northern Transylvania oh, and southern Dobruja. This caused the exile of Carol II in 1940 and the installation <laughs> of a new dictatorship government under Marshal John Antonescu. Carol was succeeded uh, by Antonescu. his son Michael, who was only 18 at the time. Although the young king was formerly the supreme head of the army and had full hmm. powers, in reality he was forced to remain just a figure being considered by the head of the government as just an unexperienced I'm in child. Charge. The new government collaborated with Germany and joined the Axis in November 1940. The new goal of the state was to regain some, if not all, of the lost territories. In 19 I ain't gonna lie, that's a lot that they lost. Germany and its allies they lost a good amount. the invasion of the Soviet Union. In June 1941, the offensive began. After a short time, Bessarabia and the northern Bukovina were fully reincorporated into the Romanian state. And initially, the Romanian army wanted to stop there. The goal was reached, and Antonescu hoped to regain the northern Transylvania territory by diplomatic means. Germany persuaded Antonescu in August 1941 to also take control of the Transnistrian territory as a substitute for northern Focus. Transylvania. Also, more discussions were promised on this matter if Romania was to continue the struggle in the East. More and more divisions were sent to fight for what a country study by the U.S. Federal Research Division of the Library of Congress attributes as a morbid competition with Hungary in hopes of regaining Northern Transylvania. As a member of the Dang. Axis, Romania joined the invasion of the Soviet Union on the 22nd of June, 1941, providing equipment and oil to Germany, as well as committing more troops to the Eastern Front than all the other allies of Germany combined. Romanian forces played a large role during the fighting in Ukraine, Bessarabia, Stalingrad, and elsewhere. According oh to historian goodness. and author Mark Axworthy, the second Axis army in Europe arguably belonged to Romania, though this is disputed since many would agree that this position goes to the Italian army. In February 1943, with a decisive Soviet counteroffensive at Stalingrad, it was growing clear that the tide of war was turning against Axis powers. In August 1944, Romania was fighting on its own territory. The situation was critical. In order to not wage war on his own territory, King Michael considered to change the government. Uh, on the August 20th, 20th. Hey, that's my birthday! That's what's up. The king had a meeting with the military leaders and ruler ruled favor of coup. On the evening of the 21st, there was a meeting with the political leader in which participants agreed upon a plan established the previous evening. In Interesting. Dang, August, that was, that's my some birthday. Some meetings right were held August with the political leaders and army officers in order to establish a plan to get Romania out of the war against the Soviets. On August 23rd, yeah, okay, they probably didn't John have Antonescu much. instructed the king to request a hearing at 4 p.m. In the discussion that followed with the king and lasted over an hour, the marshal Dang. presented in detail the situation on the front line. When the king asked him to get out of the war and sign an armistice with the Allies and Soviet Union, Marshal Antonescu replied that he would end the armistice with the approval of Germany and with some guarantees. He also said that he did not object Dang. in principle to the exit from the war. His own government tried to obtain favorable terms for an eventual and armistice with negotiating with the, with the Russians through too? Stockholm for some time. But he has to refuse it, arguing with the difficult conditions of armistice in relation to the Soviet Union, which annexed Bessarabia and northern Bukovina. Dang. By signing an unconditional surrender, these territories would probably be lost and Romania would have been occupied Dang. by communist forces in the end. Also, he argued about the turning of arms against Germany. 
not seeing betraying your old ally as an honorable thing. Oh, to then do they disagreeing. Come on, then now. the king was forced to use the password. If things are so, then we have nothing left to do. Hearing the words, a colonel which was waiting outside for the signal entered the room with a group of four soldiers who arrested the marshal. Ah, oh, dang. At 2200 he tried to in make a radio it. message, the king announced the change of government. Under that, I agree with my four people that there is only one way to save the country from a total catast catastrophe. Our exit aligns with the exit power of the media end of the world, United Nations. And the new path. Dang, I mean, fought. that's... Formal allied recognition of the de facto change Same of light. orientation of Romania in the war came on the 12th of September, 1944. Wow. Until this date, Soviet troops started moving into Romania. They moved in deep in that thing. Romanian troops were taken as prisoner of war. About 130,000 Romanian POWs were transported to the Soviet Union, where many perished in prison camps. Romania fought against wow, Axis dang, forces until the end of the war, gaining the lost territories in the West at the peace conference. The presence of the Soviet army on the territory forced the communists to come to power. So gain and lost some on more. November 19th, 1946, the first post-war parliamentary elections are held. Although the real results indicated the decisive victory of the peasant national party, but the probably wow. falsified official results presented the victory with over 70% of the bloc of democratic parties led by communists. The king was again a little more than a figurehead under the communist regime. And on December 30th, 1947, he was finally forced to abdicate and leave the country. The new regime Dang, was that's crazy. powers as a puppet of the Soviet Where did he go? What Antonescu feared the most just happened. Michael remained in exile for much of his life. After almost 42 years, the Romanian revolution happened. The communism was overthrown. But on the new democratic elections, former communists were elected in key positions. At the Christmas of 1990, <laughs> having a legal passport, the former king came back to visit. Fearing a possible massive support oh, for the older, former king, too. he was stopped by a police dam, driven back to the airport, and forced to leave the country. Dang. 1992, he made a new short visit, and hundreds of thousands of people came back to see him. In 1994, he was again Dang. refused to enter the country, and finally in 1997, Michael gained back his citizenship. On December 5th, Wow, that is crazy. I can't, like, just being... You know, being head of a country and then they kick you out and you can't come back. Especially when you, you know, I mean, that to me, it's, it's tough. It's tough. I know here, being the presidents and all those things, even here in the state, that's a tough thing. You know, people don't realize, like, these are supposed to be the people, the person that's head over the whole country. Like, I didn't, I see president, they, like, I seen Barack Obama go in, I kid you not, his hair was black. When, by the time he got out, those eight years, his hair fully white, like, he looked stressed. Like, it's a lot of stress, because you try to live up, and, you know, to the expectations of what people want and stuff, and you can't do everything. Teen King Michael the first Every decision died gonna... at 96 years old. At least he made it to 96. of August 1944 is considered by many an act of salvation of Romania. By others, it is seen as an act of betrayal. But at that time, Dang. Romania was in a very delicate situation. Joining that is the a Axis tough and then switching sides was based on its desire to survive against two totalitarian regimes. Yeah, I think that's a tough if position. If you want to see more videos, be sure to subscribe to our channel. And Yeah, that's a tough position to be in. I ain't even gonna lie. You know, if I was Michael, it's like, what do we do? Do we keep fighting and keep possibly losing? They keep getting deep in it, which it seemed like they did. Or do we just stop fighting, sign, I forgot the word they used for whatever they had to do, and, like, just end it? That That's a tough decision. I just hate the fact that they, they kicked that man out of there. They were like, nope, you're not Romanian anymore, but... Got to see 96. I don't. I wonder where he went. I'm going to have to look him up and see where he went when they kicked him out. See what country he went to. But all in all, I'm telling you, like, for some countries, especially pretty much probably the smaller countries and stuff, like the Romanias, you know. I mean, Romania's pretty big, but, like, the other surrounding countries, like, some people, I feel like those are tough decisions to make, especially the heat of the moment type of thing, but... That's all I have for this video. Appreciate the recommendation. Uh, 
like I said, I've been looking at different places in Romania and now checking out some history. So always cool to see, always cool to see the history and just go back in time. But that's all I have for this video. Hit that subscribe button. Y'all make sure you send me some more recommendations. I do have a Google form that you can fill out. I think that's where I got this from. So appreciate y'all that are filling those out. But that's all I have. Y'all be blessed. Be the best to be you. I'm out.